What else? What do I have to say about all this? Um, so, yesterday's session ended with me basically hacking into the wrong computer. And after having gotten into that wrong computer, um, and meandering about for about a half hour, we finally figured out what the game wanted us to do. And that was to RTFM. Uh, when you get these messages from Bit here, uh, these messages direct you to what you're supposed to do. Not just in the message body, but you're supposed to read all the message attachments. And that's something that wasn't immediately obvious, as it was not pointed out in the tutorial. So... Like, if they put um, these words like note or link in some special color, I think that would make it stand out a little bit more as to what you're supposed to do. Um, but that didn't happen. And so yesterday I was just guessing around on all the nodes that I knew about, and I happened to not guess the right one. And so I accidentally hacked our way into Entropy Asset Cache before figuring out that I was actually supposed to hack into Bitwise Test PC, Bits PC, to achieve whatever it is Bit wanted me to do yesterday, which I think was just obtain some of his old programs and maybe clean something up that he had. I don't exactly remember. One second, I'm going to clean up something that's making background noise here. second. Hopefully this will be less noisy. Alright. So if I see this, I've done well, and this all might be actually worth something. He doesn't have time to write everything, so he's going to need to ask something more. There's a group by the name of Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach me more. Um, as for getting in, I'll need to bypass the proxy server. Um, okay, so I kind of hacked my way through this yesterday, accidentally. Which means today I'm going to struggle with, with doing whatever it is that's supposed to be the valuable life lesson that I was supposed to have learned. Which I totally didn't. Um, it's funny though, this message uses the word, uh, what is the word? Use the word time once, and uses the word time again. And that ended up being the code yesterday to get through the proxy, or get through the firewall. Um, anyhow, proxy server info. Run shells with the shell command. Um, NetEDU archives will have more details. Okay. Um, so let's check out the NetEDU archives. Oh, they're over here. And get the link to the server, which is over here. Go out to the NetEDU archives. It's a very informational sort of place. Um, I'm gonna guess that the audio is not balanced properly, just on the fact that I've had to turn my speakers way down here. So I'm gonna turn down the music to hear about. Hopefully, this will balance things a lot better and you'll be able to hear me. Um, Hopefully I'm not overwhelming the music, and if so, well, that's too bad, I'll fix it next time. Um, so, NetEDU news. Uh, proxy server quick guide. Oh, these are all just lessons. I'm not actually hacking into a computer, this is more just a news board. Or I can exit if I'm not interested. Oh, never mind. This is a full-fledged computer, and I could try to hack it if I wanted to. But why would you do that? So let's read the news. 
Proxy servers function as a buffering layer between a target computer and a connecting counterpart for filters, caches, and monitors. Uh, or, uh, let me restate this. Proxy servers function as a buffering layer between a target computer and a connecting counterpart. A proxy server filters, caches, and monitors incoming traffic to both optimize web performance for repeated queries and prevent some kinds of attacks. This is all true. The most well-recognized flaw in proxy servers is their upper memory limit, which reached will force them to allow unchecked traffic to pass through. You know, I'm not entirely sure if that's a requirement or not. Um, arguably, a proxy server could deny service um, if it became overwhelmed memory-wise, rather than simply allowing the traffic through. Um, but I'm guessing that a good many proxy servers are written in such a way that um, if overwhelmed memory-wise, they just let things through instead of filtering. It's rather difficult to protect against uh, the alternative. To exploit this, hackers and testers will often run shells on other computers uh, that an attacker has access to. Uh, and then, with a collection of shells and servant machines, will target a uh, computer and use the shell's overload functionality to flood a uh, server with junk data, allowing other traffic through. Okay. Remote execution. Um, Um, it's a semantic shortcut and prevents the need for an IP address of the connected machine being added as an argument for any run command. Okay, this must... this exe must be an alias for some... like... uh... what's the word? I was gonna say RCP, that's not right. There's ways to remotely run commands. There are Linux commands that are, I think are equivalent to what this exe alias talks about. I just forget what they're called at the moment. There are commands to say remotely run a command. Um, here we use the word exe as that uh, commander alias. Prevents the need for the IP address of the connected machine being added as argument for any run method. This also allows for multiple programs to send traffic over the same socket. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're getting at here. Um, there is uh, some command for this, but I don't think it's called exe. Um, many exe files are written to not have any function over a network, and in this case the program will simply ignore Cross network socket. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is just um, running a program through a socket. I've done that before. Um, not maliciously, of course. Holy crap, this text is small. Shells are compact, low memory remote processes running on a separate machine that can be controlled locally from any connection. Um, so, yeah, I guess this just leaves open a socket um, that allows you to run commands on a remote computer. Um, and, yeah, that's absolutely true. Like, SSH Secure Shell is one such shell. Um, <laughs> common functions across networks include overload and trap. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call overload a common function for shell. Um, I would call it one thing you could do with the shell, but if you this is something you're doing on a daily basis, I would be concerned for what you're doing. Um, shells are useful for executing commands remotely, um, but yeah. Okay, a trap. A shell running this mode will nullify the running user, or notify the running user when a foreign user connects to the same machine and allow an emergency fork pop flood. Um, now, trap isn't 
generally based around users, it's generally based around signals and such. You wouldn't trap on a user, you would trap on some kind of signal being triggered. Say, by a program you have running in the background that detects when users log in. Um, it's useful to get notifications when events occur, for sure. Um, Alright. Um, things have been a little bit quiet here. I'm just going to make sure my stream is indeed up for progressing any further. Because how how tragic would it be if I got all the way through the game and then figured out that the stream wasn't even up? You would agree with me that that'd be a tragic thing, right? Alright, we'll check. Am I on? Can I hear myself? I'm going to guess that I can hear myself. Alright. Is my mic on? Um, okay, in fact, yes, my mic is on. Everything appears to be up working and normal. Um, it's just that there seems to be low interest in this particular game at the moment. So, But yeah, I'm up and running. Uh, firewall analysis. Firewalls have been around forever, often serving to prevent automated foreign network traffic rather than uh, secure against dedicated hackers. Um, yeah. I mean, the original purpose of firewalls, I assume, was to keep spam away, as opposed to dealing with people dedicated to trying to hack their ways into your machine. Although, in this day and age, I bet most firewalls are um, intended to serve both purposes. Um, modern firewalls can be configured to block or prevent all security critical traffic unless it is prefixed by a firewall solution. Yeah. Firewall will need to be provided before an unsedicated login attempt can be attempted. Basically meaning you gotta get credentials to get in or get past the firewall. Um, this analyze command, uh, running it multiple times, will automatically detect patterns in the response data headers and eliminate characters it can guarantee are not a part of the firewall solution. Yeah, that analyze command, as we saw yesterday, is a bit oversimplifying it. Um, you can do packet captures, analyze itself, I mean, the concept that you'd be able to do analysis, um, I don't know, that analysis is not as simple as uh, this game makes it look. Still, I like the fact that this game makes such concepts accessible. But yeah, generally after you've done the packet captures, you'd spend who knows how long doing actual analysis on the captured packets. See if you could find any weakness or vulnerability or pattern. Or see if you captured a password somewhere that's sent in clear text. Or see who knows what. Um, but okay. Uh, once a potential solution is found, um, use the command solve to attempt to syndicate. So, okay, this is what I did yesterday unwittingly through having read help pages and not known about this. Proxy servers advanced. Um, yeah, they're essentially secondary computer, that, that, that. Uh, we already went over that in the proxy server tutorial. Um, they are configured to ward off traffic that might be th considered threatening to a network. Um, at the cost of needing to whitelist uh, desirable traffic. Yeah, I mean, if you set up you're not going to set up a proxy server that blacklists everything, because then what's the point? So some things are going to be blacklisted, some will be whitelisted. Some will make it through the filter, some won't make it through the filter. Um, while they can be inconvenient for some users, um, 
when they are correctly configured, they can prevent um, the loss of programs or data, or sorry, they can prevent the execution of programs that would uh, compromise part of a uh, security service. This is true. Uh, most well recognized, uh, most well recognized flaw in proxy servers is the upper memory limit. I have a feeling I've read this. I have a feeling I've definitely read this, and it's a shame that this text here doesn't display in the rightmost panel, where it's actually easier to read. Um, yeah, increasing network security budgets have led to more robust proxy servers with higher memory limits. Um, Yeah, so it just makes it take a lot longer to overload a proxy server. Um, and potentially you could target whatever it is that's attacking the proxy server and blacklist it. Or at least ask the owner of the questions as to why are you sending me millions of packets. Um, so... Uh, it's interesting. Passive traces. In response to the increasingly hostile and active world of computer security and hacking, new digital security suites will generally include some method of tracking the location of any hostile activity against the server. This is naturally an imprecise science, uh, or an imperfect science. So there are two generally recognized forms of traces, pa active and passive. All right, so passive traces, um, it's a computer program running on a machine that attempts to detect hostile action and uh, meant to, and something, a tracing action against it. Uh, I'm guessing that says mount uh, tracing action. But I can't exactly read that. The font is too small and the characters don't quite uh, render correctly. But anyway, the point is that um, the method for doing so varies from program to program, but uh, and consequently the time it takes uh, to complete also varies from program to program. Um, Passive trace uh, can in theory be prevented from completing by using a self-induced crash at the same time the ping arrives from the hostile server, giving it no return such that it assumes the packet never arrived. Yeah. So if somebody's trying to trace back to your computer, you could just drop all traffic altogether. And admittedly, um, like if your server is not listening to packets from their server, um, but you're still sending, well, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but like if you ignore their attempts to communicate to your server, they also are equally entitled to drop your connection. So it's not so much that your computer's gone silent, but I mean, that's one aspect of it, but it means that you also acknowledge that you are, um, how do I say this? I don't know. But yeah, to, the connection is mutually dropped. So it's not that you, the hacker, would be dropping the connection, it's that between the both you and the server you're connected to, one of you decides to terminate the connection when there's some imbalances in communication. Um, this would require some level, this would require something level integration though, as not a um, known feature in any something, in any already recognized operating system. Um, oh, this would require OS level integration. 
to, well, theoretically, it would require OS level integration to drop um, the connection upon being pinged by the remote server. So if you're trying to hack somebody and they send you back a packet to ping you, to drop that ping rather than responding is not, while not part of any known operating system, theoretically you could have an operating system that works that way, that says, oh, they're trying to trace me, I'm just going to abandon everything at this point. But no known operating system does that. Um, okay, and then we got active traces. Um, and, okay, in response to let that, uh, okay, this deals with active traces. Active trace is a tracking effort undertaken by an individual working either against a currently active connection or more commonly against logs. So an active trace just means you're taking extra effort to try to trace something as opposed to just uh, responding to an active connection. Um, well, rather than passively just waiting around and trying to figure out, oh, somebody's trying to connect, I wonder who that is. You're more going after a known IP or going through a log file and trying um, to be more aggressive about identifying who it is that is at that IP and what it is that they're doing. Um, and yeah, logs are a decent way to look at who's been connecting. There aren't always going to be under slash log, but um, yeah, logs left on servers by uh, careless hacker. It's not just the server though. It's also the middle, like the routers and such. Logs can be recorded there as well. Um, uh, active trace is an active trace is untrackable and is generally done by attempting to breach security on nodes used in the routing path. See, I don't know. Isn't Active Trace untrackable? I'm confused. Why would that be untrackable? Um, granted, they do, it's anonymous, but untrackable... I mean... Like, it's separate from your... If you're a hacker and you're trying to break into some server, and that server's trying to find out information about you, I wouldn't call that untrackable. I'd just say it's not able to be related to the original request. Hey, welcome. Yeah, we're just learning about passive and active tracing, and um, hacking in general. So, I was just... Um, stating here that if somebody's actively trying to trace you it's based on some record that you've left behind they're trying to uh, uh, follow up with you um, and that's not necessarily a malicious thing it's just they want to know more um, regardless of their reason why yeah indeed it does yeah. uh, so an active trace can be prevented by wiping away some links in the chain. Obviously the more points there are in the link, the more opportunities there are to break the chain, tracing it back to you. Um, and so it's recommended that if an active trace is to be mounted against an assailant, it is to be done as soon as possible because, yeah, the person can just drop their connection and such. Uh, okay, so I've just gone through NetEDU, basically learning what's a proxy server. Well, it's something that's set up to help automate traffic. What uh, What's the remote execution command? It allows you to remotely execute a command. Um, What's a shell? It's a persistent way that you can remotely execute more than just one command. It's a remote environment for command execution. Um, like if I'm logged into a computer halfway around the world and I'm typing at my keyboard, I've got a shell on that remote computer where I'm issuing commands. 
its uh, environment for more than one command. Um, and yeah, there's firewalls and stuff. You guys know the basic gist. If you have questions, let me know. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, I got some interesting styling going on. I'll just put it that way. It makes the stream look awesome. Um, sure, let's log in to the Network Education Archives. Oh, we don't have a username and password. Alright, let's take a look at this system. Ooh, this one looks difficult to crack, does it not? Yeah, I probably wouldn't try to crack this one, because you need uh, five open ports for cracking. And there's only one port open. So, yeah, cracking this one might be a little bit tricky. I would have to, like, mount five nodes against this, uh, or mount five things against this to crack my way in. And while I do know about a whole bunch of computers that would potentially be able to help me with this, like, obviously I haven't compromised Jmail, I haven't compromised... Well, I could do this one. By compromise, I just mean get administrative access to run stuff. Um... I certainly have enough computers that I could hack my way in, but why would I do this? This is an education site here. What's my goal? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, yeah, I could crack my way in, but... Um, let me review what is it I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, they're currently accepting members. As for getting in there... I'll need to bypass... Oh! Okay, so that's what it wants me to do. That's cool. So hopefully I can figure out how to execute all this. Oh, wait, that's the archives. This is the test server. Oh, is this hacking game? Yeah. Alright, so... I know, right? Wait. Oh, proxy active. So I have to do something about the proxy first. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, how did I do this yesterday? Uh, help one. Alright, that doesn't have my command. What was the command I was doing yesterday? Um, maybe it's analyze. Yeah. No firewall detected. Okay. Right, they don't have a firewall. There is a proxy between me and the test server. Um, which means I can't directly SSH crack it because I have to get through the proxy server first. Um, so how do I get through the proxy server again? Um, what commands was I issuing yesterday? Does anybody remember? Yeah, I'm guessing nobody remembers. Alright, so... Uh, a few notes on proxy servers, da da da, run shells at commuters, computers, um, connect it to a target computer, probe its security, use the shells to overload the target... Oh, right, overloads the command. Uh, okay. Obviously I don't can't execute shell on here, but let me pick some other shell, like, uh, I don't know. Bitwise test PC. We're already administrator on here. We're gonna run shell. So you see, um, let's see. I'm gonna close this so everything shows up on the stream properly. Uh, so we got a shell here. And, um, again, we've probed this system, and now we're going to try to overload it. Uh, right? Oh, yeah, so I hit overload, and this tries to overwhelm the proxy. This takes a little bit of time. <laughs> uh, 
I'll have to come up with a better way to make that look, I suppose. Um, anyhow, so now I'm bypassing the proxy server, so I can just send my traffic right on through. And this is exactly how hacking works, by the way. It's in no way uh, understatement. So anyhow. Um, okay, so I've cracked uh, port 22. Um, let's see. Uh, what was that command I was issuing yesterday? Was it... Uh, it's not overload, because I've already done an overload. Um, okay, so yeah, I use port hack on an open port. Now that I have a persistent SSH port open. And apparently gaining any password just makes me the head administrator. Which again, is totally rational and exactly how computers work. Um, so, let's see, are there any adjacent nodes I want to know about? Nope. Um, so, don't need to have this overloading anymore. Let's just take a look at what's on the server file system. Nothing of interest in the sys folder, as usual. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so in the logs, pretty much just say who logged in. Hey look, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. I'm all over the log files. Whatever. Oh, download this to complete my test. Well, that was easy. Who knew that copying a file is what it takes to succeed at a test? Okie dokie. Hey look, I got a message. It's like I know how to copy files and they're proud of me. Uh, um, so... Yeah, fractals appear all the time during real hacking. It's just most of them aren't visualized. Most of them are just used in elliptical functions for um, for decrypting and encrypting messages. Uh, no one ever thinks to clear out the bin folder. Uh, that that uh, it's the test server. Um, okay. Are you tired of quests that take up all of your time? Do you wish that you could spend a long, happy life? Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Stormwind Online. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'll copy this, because why not? It seems legit. Uh, somebody needs bit. Uh, whatever. Whoops. To copy a file, I'll use SCP. Alright, I've got that file. And... Let's see, so we've got... Oh, Stormwind. Lol, 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 lol. So this is the thing they use for um, mining gold or something. That's cool. Hacktheplanet.txt. Okay. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that, that one looks really important. Um, you are nothing but a scrub. Probably took you... yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. That looks important, too. Okay. Need help. Those idiots over Stormwind have totally ruined the balance. Blah, blah. I say we stick it to them and bring down that auction... Oh, uh, whatever. That's, that's, like, not why this server exists. What a dumb thing. Yeah. I'm thinking that avoiding this storm wind controversy is probably the best thing one can do. There's no reason to get involved. Also, why can't I write a script that deletes all the files and I just log out, like, while the script's still running? Um. Anyhow, I'm the head admin on the server, so I just do what I want. Um, so... 
I mean, we've already scanned the network. There's nothing of interest. So, yeah, we'll just disconnect. Um, yeah, we'll close the shell. We don't need the shell open still. So the only computer out here... Um, well, there's two I haven't compromised. One being the Education Archive server, which I have no reason whatsoever to compromise, other than being hilariously mad with power. And two would be J-Mail, which I have a feeling that, you know, they'd probably notice if I were up to anything. But you never know. Ooh, confirmation mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know, it's so easy. Um, you must further confirm my abilities. Oh, oh. Tabloid news server has recently taken a negative stance toward us, and we'd like to temporarily disable... Are you kidding? So, basically you're saying that you want a total stranger who you've never met before to go out and do something on your behalf. And then you're going to accept no responsibility if that stranger messes up. Ah, <sighs> such a gang. Um, it's the second test. We ask you to bring down their message board. If you can, leave the non-entropy related articles in the rest of the server intact. We don't wish to be needlessly destructive. This is not a request to simply wipe the server clean of articles, we just want the one program taken down. Uh, yeah. So, I'm totally not evil here. Um. How does a copy file? I don't even know what you're asking, but... Um, SCP is used to remotely copy files over a network. It's actual Linux command, you know? Alright, well, they want me to go do something with this slash bot. I wonder why they've taken a negative stance toward this group. Maybe it's because this group hacks them. I'm just guessing, you know? I'm just guessing. So some dude named Tex sent me an email. By the way, email messages generally have an IP address identifying where it was sent from. This one doesn't tell me anything about this Tex person. Assuming Tex is their real name, which it totally isn't. Um, so, anyhow. Yeah, slash bot. Sure. Hey look, there's slash bot. Um, what happens if I just reply to this saying, you know, I'm not doing that. And I think they notice. Um, anyway. We'll just go along with it. They've taken a negative stance toward entropy. We like to temporarily disable their operation. Um, oh, I get it. The second test of the skill is me doing all this whole thing. My first test of my skill was actually downloading a file, which you know is just super hard. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, slash bot. Ah, it's a public news board. Um, you know, the way you would normally do this is you probably connect through one of these other computers. Say, where's the entropy test server? Yeah, let's shell our way into this. And then from this shelled computer, you would probably connect to Slashbot and say, Oh, look, I'm looking at all these articles. And this way you don't identify who you are. You're saying that I'm this person out on Entropy Test Server interested in what this server has to say. Um, like, malicious hacking? Uh, the internet group Entropy has recently taken to sheltering and providing work for a notorious hacker. While this cannot be confirmed yet, if it is, the group will be sure, sure to face severe legal action in the near future. It's a clear act of betrayal, blah, 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 should be punished. I mean... That doesn't seem like reporting to me. I'm just saying, like, a reporter reports the facts and doesn't give their spin on it. An editorial columnist would give their spin, but... Um, 
a Microsoft phone, it's about as bad as you expected, blah blah blah. Uh, Waterfall, Microsoft's fourth generation phone, is expected to launch, um, but it's probably going to be delayed. Uh, whatever. Suspicions rise over entropy. Um, the shutdown of their public access terminal after the means of which they've been procuring this info was called into question. Um, so, what does that mean? I mean, what kind of reporting is this? And why is this a second article and not just an amendment to the first? Like, how is this substantial? Why would there be any suspicion of this group? Um, so, I mean, shutting down a public access terminal is really no big deal. Um, I mean, for all you know, they're just down for maintenance. Anyhow, uh, as long as the credit to the openness of information, action must be taken. It's your data at risk. Ooh, look, friend hole. Yeah, everybody uses friend hole, right? Um, and they have face space, and blah, 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 everything's all secure. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I don't know about this, man. Watch the space. So, anyhow. Let me check my messages one more time. So Bit said, there's a group that goes by Entropy that's accepting members. They'll be able to teach me more and when he's re when I'm ready, he'll contact me again. Um, really, they've just sent me through two qualified exams and they haven't taught me a damn thing. Um, other than they might be malicious. So... Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Are you sure about this bit? Oh, mission incomplete. Very well. Okay, well, let's follow up with Entropy. Do you think... Do you... Really want to... Do this? It kinda seems... Illegal. To... Uh, I'll leave it at that. But, yeah, on account of the fact that... Um, to gain access to this Slashbot server, you've got to use credentials that um, aren't yours. This is, in a way, identity theft, and it is a felony to do that sort of thing. Obviously, this is just a game, but um, I'm just saying, these en this entropy group is kind of asking for it. I wouldn't do this if I were them. I'm just saying. Alright. Oh, come on. Let me create an account, slash bot. I'm a good person. Let me make an account. Why do you not have any make an account button? I mean, look here, right? You, your news page says that there's suspicions over entropy and how they shut down their public access terminal. And then, I try to log into your public access terminal and you're not letting me in. So, isn't that kind of a double standard? Anyhow. Okay, so proxy detected. Whatever. We'll overload the proxy. Yeah, of course, this game doesn't make reference to any real world activities or events. Um, so, yeah, then we just run SSH crack. SSH is running on port 22. I don't know why they would put that on port 22 on their production server, but apparently they did. So, 
Uh, and then we just listen in on all the traffic, watch all the fractals, steal the passwords, and apparently, getting any password automatically makes me the administrator. Now, you would think Slashbot would probably know about some other computers, right? Nope, there isn't a single com computer connected to Slashbot. Scan Network finds no other computers. Which either says something about the way they're secured, or says that nobody uses Slashbot. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so we got Home, Log, Bin, Sys, and Message Board, right? Hey look! This contains a file. Default boot module. Sheshbot News. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is the file I probably have to delete to temporarily take them down. Um, bin's empty. Log contains all these logs about my connecting. You'd think it would contain logs of other IP addresses. But no, it doesn't. Home's empty, and then there's message board. Uh, config caution. Config.sys in this folder is a critical system file. Do not delete or rename it. Um... Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Config.sys is just... I mean... Who... Why would you have a config.sys... Why would your configuration file be in binary? It just seems like a misplaced one or zero and the whole file would be corrupted. I'm just saying. That seems dumb. Um, okay, so I could use rm to remove a file, ls to list fi oh, I could actually move files. Okay, that's cool that mv exists, so I just rename it and that takes down stuff. Um, can I scp star? Wouldn't that be awesome? Nope. Gotta copy files one at a time. Uh, I actually don't care about the new phone. Right, I'm just gonna copy those two files to home. Um, is there a make dir command? Um, so you think that I would be able to... Yeah, whatever. I'm surprised there is no make dir command for making new folders. Um, anyhow, we're gonna remove this. We're going to remove that. We're going to cd to slash log. Remove all the logs. See here, wildcard expansion works just for the rm command. You know, which is a security feature. We'll put it that way. Um, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Um, I'm going to cd slash cd to msg board and we're going to move config dot whoops uh, config dot sys to sys config dot sys uh, and reboot system reboot in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we're disconnected so yeah, mission accomplished. It says don't move or delete the file. I moved it. Arguably, the sys file should have been in the system directory the whole time, so I'm actually doing them a favor. Um, plus, I didn't actually delete it, so it won't take them down for too long. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Hey look, I have been admitted. Hooray! <sighs> Find the server details of the admin account. Okay, I'm curious. Is Slashbot still down? Probably not. I mean, I didn't do anything too malicious. Um, we find the user details of the admin account to our asset server attached. Wait. Uh, what would that be? 
Oh, okay, so it's a different computer. Um, help yourself to any programs you might need and view our mantra. Once you've geared up, reply to this and I'll arrange a true test of your abilities. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so um, that's where the server is. Add these credentials. Look how these credentials are embedded into an email and email is the best way of expressing credentials. Um, anyway, uh, I do have a login on this because um, that email message gave me the credentials to log in. Rosebud is the best password. So you are the administrator of the system. Okay. I, I could take down the server and see what the game does. I'm going to wager it doesn't do anything, but you never know. Um, I'm just saying that's awfully trusting them to give me the head admin password, but they probably have this all backed up, right? Right? Okay, so there's nothing on the local network. Um, oh, holy look, I could actually crack this if I wanted to, but I'm already in. I'm already the head admin, so I don't need to crack it. Um, uh, so let's see what do we got. We got new folders and mantra and stuff. Strive for justice and righteousness in all things. Um, create and share more than you destroy. Whatever. Um, logs show that I've connected and became admin and all that stuff. I'm gonna copy this fun stuff because you never know when you're going to need that. Um, hey, I've already got SSH crack, right? Don't know why, but I guess they've got that too. Um, again, nothing of special interest in the sys directory. Like, these are all binary files, nothing readable there. What does that mean? Probably means you spent too much time trying to translate this. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, more bash.org silliness. Is that text copyable? Or? No, you can't select and copy this out of the game, but this is all on bash.org anyway. Oh, okay. Um, really, it's on bash.org. Yeah. That's funny. I'm going to copy this file. It's data 253. Oops, I meant we're going to remote copy it. Okay. Yeah, new folder 25 is empty. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this on bash.org too. Good stuff. Um, uh... Okay, backups. <laughs> okay, that's their way of doing backups, apparently. Super secure. Yeah, whatever. Let's copy this mantra.txt. I'm going to copy all the files, because apparently my server is capable of holding all the files on the whole internet. Boop, boop, boop. They don't need to know I was here. I don't know why they'd care one way or the other. I could take down their system, but they'd probably just bring it back up again. Oh, which reminds me. Oh, Splashbot is down. Contact the system administrator. Well, last I checked, I was the administrator on that PC, so they're going to have to contact me. Um, also, it's kind of funny that I don't have a password command, right? Um, no, no big deal, but I'm just saying, like, once you get the administrator credentials, can't you change them to some other password or something? Um, actually, wait. Okay, yeah, exit takes me back. Uh...
so I'm gonna take them, put them back online. Just for the lols. Because uh, why not, right? Okay. And what? Okay, there's Slashbot again. And yeah, I'm still the administrator on the system. Um. I don't need the second of those copies. It's just going to cause confusion. Um, so, anything else? I mean, look at all the stuff we connected to. Look at all the files we read. Admittedly, I don't need any of those things logged, so doesn't help and doesn't hurt to have all this log activity removed. Um, let me check one thing here. Okay. So, we go back. Again, look at all the fun stuff I got. We got multiple copies of notes.txt. I got all these interesting things. Um, there's no way the game's going to question this, but um, so let's respond. That yeah, we're ready. Totally, dude. Dude, I was born ready. Okay. Excellent. I'd like to be first to formally invite you to begin accepting venture contracts. Um, so he's always gauging my progress. Never mind that I helped bring Slashbot back online. So whatever. <laughs> um, contract database. Oh, hey, look, it's right next door. I wonder what the next door neighbor really wants. Disconnect from Jmail. Uh, disconnect from Celestia. Apparently, I'm not connect. Oh. Am I connected to any of these machines, or does this connect me and I have to disconnect? I don't know. Like, as far as I can tell, I'm not connected to anything other than my own machine. Hey look! All these contracts are available. Um, well, it's an interesting development. Um, and we'll go a little bit further. Let's take a simple contract and see how well this goes. A well-meaning client needs to regain some of his data from a game server deleted to regain productivity. Uh, he needs some of his data from a game server deleted to regain productivity. Okay. I have accepted. 
Yeah, one contract's enough for now. Um, and... Okay, apparently uh, this one's a little bit more secure than other computers, so... Fun times, right? We'll take one contract and see how well we can do. Greetings, civilian. I've been put in a dire predicament here, and unfortunately no one in my incompetent office of staff is capable of fixing this for me. Um, informants have assured me this line is secure, so I'll be brief. I have bested the game point clicker, and now I wish to prove my clear dominance over it again. Yet, there's not a reset button. I need you to enter their server and delete my save file so I may crush it once more. You know, I'm gonna hope... Do you have any idea how shady this is? Some guy who goes by the name of M, just capital M, is... I guess he says his username's Mengsk. Dude, just make a new username. Okay, well, fine. Point clicker doesn't sound too important. Maybe I can justify this somehow, but this doesn't really seem like a dire predicament at all. I'm just saying. Um, so, Mengsk is the contact handle, apparently. Point clicker? Oh, yeah! Dang. I've got insufficient points to do much. Alright, glorious clicking begins. Uh, click me, upgrade available. Oh yeah, I'm totally going to beat this game. Look at me go. Isn't this the best? Hey look, I can get auto clicker V1. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but apparently I'm do demonstrating my dominance over this game. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, this is Cookie Clicker. I get it. Uh, this is totally Cookie Clicker. Yes. So, yeah. Look at that. I just keep clicking the auto clicker V1, and then it's going to upgrade me to auto clicker V2, and then I'm going to upgrade to auto clicker V3 and 4 and whatever. And so yeah, this is cookie clicker. Um, I'm just saying. It's what a horribly stupid game. Okay, but. Uh, yeah, clearly this is um, the best use of a person's time is to crush this game, which admittedly serves no purpose anyway. So maybe I just wait for, here we go, upgrade 4, whatever. I have no idea what any of these do. I'm guessing that... Um, Upgrade 5 probably isn't very far away. There we go. I'm guessing oh, probably... Oh, the costs? Yeah, it's showing me the next upgrades available. No, when you mouse over, it shows the cost. Oh. So there we go, you can get that one. Yeah, I can get one of these. Yeah. Uh, How much is the next one? <laughs> this is Cookie Clicker, just for those who didn't know. All right. And we're going to get like upgrade 7, and upgrade 8's on the way. This is totally serious. How many levels are there? Yeah, these, these might take a few points. Okay, so we get upgrade 9. And we get upgrade 10, and 11, and 12, and 13, and so forth. I 
I guess I have to get one of each level or something to continue. Um, you know, there's an easier way to beat this game. I'm just saying. Uh, how do I escape? Exit. Well, that was fun. Um, Okay, so I don't have credentials to log in. Um, okay, so I need two open ports to crack. Um, so what better way to crack this than to use Entropy's computers, totally traceable, all the way back to me, um, to crack it. But Oh, I have to have two ports open. Uh, so we crack SSH, and I could have sworn, yeah, I've got FTP bounce, um, which I can, oh, I can't run more than one program at a time. That's kind of a bummer. So, any second now. We'll have the solution to uh, grab some credentials using a combination of SSH and FTP. And so, using that, um, we now hack our way through, um, get access to the right memory locations and stuff. Um, and yeah, now we're the administrator. And there's, again, nothing on the network of this machine. Report and read me. Don't crash. Never delete or rename config.ini. Uh, causes an instant crash. Don't do it. Dude, what kind of INI file looks like that? You guys don't understand a damn thing. Default boot module. Point clicker. Yeah, fine. Um, okay. This looks like important data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen bash.org. It's nothing that original. Um, Yeah, I've seen that on bash.org, too. It's good stuff. Uh, it's got all these logs on me and not on anybody else. So, interestingly enough, they have a file about me. Um, let's see. Is there a command to edit a file? Because I could totally use one of... Hey! Here we go, guys. Um, so we're going to MV Mengsk to toadofski.pcsav. No, 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 no. Todovsky dot PC save one to Todovsky dot PC save. Hey look! Hey look who's the latest champion of this game. Am I right? So not only did I help that guy, who didn't want to have his high score there anymore, I have beaten the game. Um so I'm going to log out, which apparently means the same thing as disconnect here. Um, we're going to go back on the point clicker. And oh yeah, I have totally, completely and utterly defeated this game. So much so that, um, I don't know, I've encountered, I don't even know what's happened here. 
My score has gone negative. That's how positive it is. And when integer underflow happens, I'm going to have the high score again. Um, I mean, integer underflow has got to happen eventually, right? But yeah, I have insufficient points to do anything, apparently. Um, so I'm thinking I should, if I want to beat this game, I should go in and copy somebody else's file as mine and not this dude's. Um, so let's go in. Exit. We're still the admin, right? Uh, saves. I have no idea, like, who's the winner and who's not. Um, I mean, somebody on here has got to be a winner, right? I'm guessing the line two of the files, probably their level. Um, I don't know. I'm going to guess that Dylan the Miner is pretty good at this. Um, so we're going to copy Dylan the Miner. This is going to be my new progress file. Oh man. Uh, can I not copy things into the same directory? Um, why is there no copy command? Um, bummer. You know, you'd think of all the commands that they'd implement, copy would probably be one of them. Uh, apparently not. So, whatever. Uh, we're going to beat this the other way that we know how to beat it. Right? So you see here, I click this, and that's magic. Wow. Uh, I guess I broke the game. That's pretty spiffy. I want to click it again. Yeah, I can't click anything now. No. That's rough. So... You fell into a trap. Yeah. That's what you get for cheating, right? Or just not cheating good enough. Uh, can you edit that? Oh yeah, I can. In my own way, I can edit this. Um, um, there's a command called replace, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is just the stream editor command. Oh, this is Hacknet. This is a PC game. Um, Um, so if I wanted to, I could say replace um, in my file the string um, negative 12884901888000, and I could replace that with um, 12345. And bam, look at that replacement go. Now I've got, now I've got 12,000 cookies something or other. Points. Points is the word I was looking for. Um, and now I'm negative again. Okay, so this... Um, I don't understand how it is that I'm supposed to beat this game. Um, I do want to beat it, because you know that there's got to be some kind of Steam achievement for beating it. Um, so we're going to try this one more time. Is there an index or something? Not really. Um, yeah. 
apparently everybody in this game collects bash.org quotes and publishes them everywhere. Um, okay, so I want 12 points so I can get auto clicker V1. Um, actually, before we go any further, let's go here and <laughs> replace is not going to be very helpful here now, is it? Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to try it anyway. Just to see how it works in this game. So replace the number 0 with the number 1. Mwahaha! Look at all the evil I have wrought with my malicious hacking. So I've got one of everything now. I've got all the upgrades. And no points. Yeah, I think I broke the game. But whatever. It's probably for the best that I not get hooked on point clicker. Um, so we're going to view logs. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever. Look at all of these things I did. So we're going to purge all the logs. Yeah, I don't know how point clicker works. It probably is corrupted somehow by the fact that I deleted that dude's save file because he asked me to. And now nothing on the server works. Um, so I fulfilled the guy's wish, but the next time he logs in he won't be able to play the game. So hopefully he'll still pay me for the contract. Um, Dude, go play a better game like chess. Okay. Ooh, my current ranking is 80 of 100. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Point Clicker is just a silly little game that has no impact on the main game. Just if you're curious. Uh, so I could accept another contract. And sure, why not? Famous counter hack. Recently got news of a company hiring less, meaning hackers have to retrieve some sensitive data from a rival corporation for exploitative purposes. Um, in the interest of dissuading companies from using the hacker community in such ways in the future, we're going to ensure their transition or transaction doesn't go smoothly. Um, or meaning less well meaning or okay, so let me reread this. We recently got news of a company hiring less. Uh, less well meaning hackers um, to retrieve sensitive data. Okay, so the point here is that not that hackers are not being employed, but rather that Hackers are being employed for malicious purpose. Um, and so counter hacking is not exactly the really way you want to do this. I mean, you'd rather log what's going on and um, remedy things with a legal situation rather than yourself engage in illicit activity. But okay, in this world apparently laws are different. So we'll take the contract. PP marketing, um, uh, react into a rival company's servers to retrieve some sensitive data, probably a mailing list. Um, uh, yeah, this is espionage, it's stoof. While we're not really of an interest in policing this in its entirety, a blatant advertising of the job across the internet makes it a little more public. 
So we'd like to make sure that for PP this doesn't pay off. We don't know exactly what the file's called, so you have to do a little digging once you're in there. Looking for a stolen mail list, it might be archived or encrypted. You should also note um, that the company may be prepared for this eventuality. You might have some security countermeasures in place. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, so don't need that. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. I wasn't using that anyway. So, 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 we're going to go on the entropy test server. That's totally how we do things. Um, actually, yeah, I guess it's probably fine. So I got a shell up from the entropy test server. They're totally going to trace me, you know it. Uh, Okay, so they've detected a proxy. We've got open two ports uh, and get past the proxy server. Um, so we've got to overload the proxy server. Oops, that's not right. Um, okay. So if I cancel... Uh, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. So they started a trace against me when I tried to overload the server, right? Um, okay, but yeah, if I were to use more computers to try to break through the proxy, I'd be better off. Um, that is one high memory proxy server. Just gotta say. So, yeah, they're just saying I can't dally all day. Like I'm dallying here. Um, so, um, got a SSH crack. 22. FTP bounce. Um, 21. Man, this tracing thing takes forever for them to track me. But yeah, now I've got the keys. Um, I've got access to SSH and to FTP, so now I'll just start over, right? And these ports have been cracked open. Um, so I'm not sure how their reverse trace works. Uh, or how their tracing capacity works, but um, in any event, we've bypassed the proxy, we've opened up these two ports uh, through their firewall, or I guess not a firewall, but on this machine, and now I just need to gain administrative uh, credentials. All right. And see, so yeah, I could just disconnect at any time, and now I've got the administrator password and stuff. Um, apparently I'm connected to the machine, and nothing's really happened. So, scan the network. Nothing on the network to know about. Um, oh, well, how convenient. Um, So, we're just going to copy um, secure mail list.dec. Hang on. We're going to SCP secure copy mail list.dec. We're going to SCP mail list info. Um, All these things get copied into my home folder. Um, I don't know why. Um, we'll take a look at these once um, we're off the system. 
But as for now, we're just going to copy everything over. Alright, what's this incident log one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So incident log one, things are down. Um, so many emails gone. Yeah, whatever. It's totally important stuff. Um, It's just a marketing company who doesn't mind losing all their logs. Um, <clears throat> so wait, so the point of this all was that it's supposed to like delete the file and copy it somehow. Um, I'm guessing they want me to email the mailing list, or I don't know. Uh, and transfer it to the hiring group. Oh, so they don't know who I have to transfer it to other than whoever the hiring group is. Um, so before I go too much further, let's take a look at these uh, files that I grabbed, right? Um, yeah, let's move some of these things um, into said stash. Or, I'm sorry, miscellaneous seems like a reasonable place, too. Um, not everything has to go under home. some of the entropy stuff into said stash. Uh, copy the other entropy thing into stash. Um, I'm going to move the suspicions article into stash. Um, move mantra. into stash. Just make this a little more manageable. Um, move yeah, 2, 4, 5. Actually, I could list all these in one command, right? Um, I don't trust this game's command line at all. So, let's take move things one at a time. Okay. Uh, okay. If I could type better, this game would be a little easier. Um, oops. Can we target that text to miss? Um, uh, let's see, invalid chars test file. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Whatever. Secure mail list. Obviously secured. I'm not going to know anything about it. Um, um, <laughs> 
It's a marketing firm that's got a pretty strict dress code, huh? Um, hey, welcome one and all. So, um, let's see, what have we here? Complaint procedure. Da da da, you gotta do all this. Um, I don't really need that file. Um, mail list info. This is the mail list we got from the hacker. Turns out there's some kind of encryption on it. Ha! Really? Really? So you think the hacker should decrypt the file for you? Uh, HR saying they'll get someone else to try to decrypt it or whatever to make it usable. Um, yeah, that that looks suspicious as anything can be. Uh, so we're gonna hide that in our stash of stuff. Terminal guide. Yeah, just in case you don't know how to do stuff in a terminal. Um, let's see. I don't know, I could get strong bad to write a good English paper. Um, laptop police report. Yeah. So I think in general I've been using MISC to contain random stuff. Uh, and stash to contain data. Um, so, where was that file I was just looking at? Oh, it's called Laptop Police Report. Just hide that away. Um, now there's some way to get notes to show up in this left column, yeah? Does anybody remember how to do that? I'm gonna wager no. Okay. Oh! So Jmail is the institution that's missing this file? I mean... Um... I'm so confused. If I already picked um, my data point, I will use to support... Well, never mind, you're not talking about this game. I see what you're talking about. Uh, so this is the mail list. It's totally super duper secure. Um, yeah, we're gonna cache that file away. This game would be so much more fun with a real file system. Um, secure, oh yeah, I keep clicking on that. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's fighting the good fight and doing good marketing and stuff. Um, never know when you're going to need stuff, so... Move that away. Um, address code. Um, again, not too important, but you never know when you're going to need it, right? Um, okay. Winters Kevin. It's been requested that all emails sent from employee Kevin Winters to any external addresses be scanned. This request has been approved by the head of operations. Um, we are specifically looking for evidence that he's shared trade secrets with competing firms. But not competing firms, with competing. Um, but anyway, you get the point. Um, oh, and this is one piece of evidence that's against this dude. Okay.
so whatever. Um, So I got the secure mail list, but I'm really not sure what to do with it. <sighs> da, da, da. So... I don't know if I'm just supposed to send the email list to this dude or what. So confused. Um, delete it and transfer it to the hiring group. Um, uh, but I don't know who the hiring group is, right? That's the problem. Is I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Cracking in and taking the list is pretty simple, but um, delivering it for where to where it's supposed to go is a bit more tricky. Um, so again. Um, Uh, I guess I'll crack into the computer again and see if I see anything. It's induction stuff, investigations, secure mail list, mail list info. Um, it's the list we got from the hacker, apparently. Uh, Documents. Incident log one. Incident log two. All right. I'm so confused. How am I supposed to know where to deliver the file? Oh. Hello, uh, slash bot. It's not the phone review. Is your data at risk? Friendhole was the latest victim of a malicious hacking group. Um, face space. Okay. But how am I supposed to know where face space is? I guess if I connect to slash bot, um, no, what gives? I'm so confused. if this is the same thing. Somehow I was supposed to just know who was hacked. Um, yeah, so I'm confused. Somewhere here, someone knows who was hacked and when and why. And that's somebody's not me. Uh, so, I don't know, am I supposed to hack Jmail or something to do this? I mean, that seems a bit absurd.
Oh. So, somehow based on the messages that were sent, I'm supposed to identify the mail account who's... I don't know. I'm so beyond confused at this point. Um, but that's not it. Target. That's not it. Nope. Where's the thing? I mean, I got the thing. I got the document that I'm supposed to deliver. Um, this is the list we got from the hacker. Um, HR is saying they'll get someone else to try to decrypt it or whatever and make it usable. Uh, so HR is kind of in on the deal too, I guess. Uh, okay. I'm just going to have to assume that I should email the file that I collected and I need to send that. I still have it. It's a secure email list. Since I have nowhere to send it to except the guy who gave me the task, um, I just have to go here and delete the file from the remote computer. Um, so, okay. It seems so dumb. So yeah, well, they have no record that I was on the system, um, which is cool. And we disconnect, and it just remembers that we disconnected, but doesn't really know who we were to begin with. Um, so yeah, you didn't really identify who the client was, and I don't know who it is. Um, um, yeah, so it's not allowing me to attach the file. <sighs> okay, got to transfer it to the hiring group, whoever the hiring group is. I just don't know who that is. I'm guessing I don't want to deliver it to everybody, although that would suffice. Uh, Who is the hiring group? Dude, I need some help here. Yeah, whatever. Um, apparently deleting the secure mailing list was good enough. I didn't really need to identify or transfer it to the hiring group, and the game just does that for me somehow. Um, that's cool. Um, so, spiffy. Whatever. I mean, I can reply to these too, right? There's no point, though. Um, should I do one more, or should we call it? Uh, I guess we'll do one more. Back to school. High school is contacted us with concerns about their IT department and accessing private student data. They don't want anything deleted, but want to discreetly find if their IT staff's private passwords. Uh, they discreetly find their... Okay, I get it. So they can investigate it themselves. Ah, vigilante justice. In the wild, wild web. Uh, um, 
I don't need this Winter's Kevin thing. I don't need this KW Evidence thing. I don't want to have anything to deal with that, do with that marketing firm ever again. Oops, that's not the thing I want to delete. I want to delete the secure mail list. Uh, right? There we go. And we'll save. Like that text, that text. Yeah. All right, so there's the high, <laughs> Milberg High IT office. Um, yeah, don't tamper with shit. Just break in and get passwords. Um, so they're not going to have any kind of tracing stuff that keeps track of who I am. Uh, they might question my methods for sure. Wait, let me read the message before I actually do this. Um, try to preserve all the data the way you find it. Any temper can mess with their judgment. For your part of it, you'll need to break in, clear your tracks, and reply to this with the password to the server. Okay, the server password is all that they want. Whereas the posting said that they wanted the employees' passwords, or the IT staff's password, but um, really they're not looking for the passwords of each IT staff member, but rather the admin password used by the IT staff. It's an important distinction. you got to be able to read uh, to play this game. Also to write. Alright, so they got a proxy server. What kind of high school has a proxy server? Anyway... Um, whoops, that's not it. Um, yeah, yeah, so we'll initiate a shell over here. Um, now try to work our way in. Obviously, the more computers I were to throw at this to overwhelm the proxy server, the faster we get overwhelmed, but whatever. This will work. Um, so, and again, I just need to crack any one of these ports, so let's start with SSH. And once we've cracked SSH and we're able to, I guess cracking it means make use of its vulnerability. And now we're just doing memory scanning and disk file scanning and stuff. Honestly, I don't know why you wouldn't change the admin password other than that would gather suspicion. But nobody would know you changed it, but whatever. Um, so... Uh, we've got to view the file system. Interesting. Yeah, that sounds pretty legit, right? Um, don't want to read that. PW memo. Just make the IT password seven stars. Just oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, literally unbreakable. Seven stars. Yeah, there's no way that anybody could break that. Um, so we're just going to keep a copy of that. Um, not that we need it. But. Announcements.txt Um... Well, how about that fun stuff? Yeah, that's not how proxy servers work, by the way. Um, 
Yeah, you don't just fun find a sudden 22 terabytes of that stuff. That, that's just not how it works. But kudos for trying to make it all serious and stuff. Um, I guess they don't want it to be too realistic. Alright, so... Leave the server pretty much intact. Um, and disconnect. And just reply to this email. Gotta add in the password. Add. <laughs> it's gonna be a confusing reply. Contract successful. Ooh. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into the details of that right away. Oh. Anyhow, I'm not gonna dig into all that right away. This has been interesting. It's just one contract after another after another, and I'm now the administrator on all of these computers minus the Jmail. Um, so yeah, other than the contract database and the Jmail server, I'm admin everywhere. Which is pretty spiffy. I don't know why I need to be admin on all these machines, but I guess this game makes you try to feel important like that. Um, anyhow, so yeah, it's been a fun session. Uh, thanks to everybody for stopping by. I hope to do some more of this some more sometime. Um, uh, but yeah. And if you have any questions about this stuff, um, obviously I'm not going to engage in anything malicious, I'd never do that, but if you want to know more about how computers work, or what this game's even trying to refer to without actually engaging in hacking behavior, um, if you're just in intellectually curious in this kind of stuff, let me know. Obviously, again, I'm not engaging in anything malicious, but... Um, there is a lot to know about how computers work and how networks work and what it is that you can do to secure your computer so people don't hack you. So, nobody's perfect, but there's a whole lot you can learn. And games are a great way to learn some things, so... Um, again, thanks everybody for stopping by, thanks for watching, hope you had some fun with it. Hopefully this episode turns out better than the last one. We'll see. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's funny, LC. He's got a job for me. Yeah. Because, you know, that, that's exactly how it works. This game is totally re realistic here. Uh, anyhow, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, and have a good one. I'll see you around.